Hello, and welcome to English Micro Listening Lessons, where you can improve your listening skills by learning how sounds change or disappear in spoken English. This series of videos can be watched in any order and can be used for self-study by independent English language learners or in a classroom by English language teachers. There's information in the box below the video for teachers. Spoken English can be difficult to understand due to something called connected speech, which is the continuous stream of sounds without clear borders between a sequence of words. There, that's better. Some features of connected speech that can make sounds change or disappear at word boundaries and affect your ability to hear words you know are coalescence, elision, reduction, assimilation, resyllabification, linking, and intrusion. Don't worry. I'll explain what each of these means in this series. Awareness of them will improve your ability to hear individual words in the stream of spoken English. Ready? Here we go. This is Biddy Booker singing a cover of Joan Baez's song, Go Away From My Window. What extra sound does she sing between the words go and away? If you're watching this with someone else or with your teacher and classmates, pause the video and compare your answers. She adds the w sound in between those two words. Say, go away from my window, go away from my door. Why does she do that? It's due to a feature of connected speech called intrusion. Some people also call it linking, which is when an extra sound is inserted between two other sounds to make pronunciation easier. So here with the intrusive or linking w, sometimes a w sound is inserted between two vowel sounds at a word boundary. So with the words We've got go, which ends in an O, and away, which starts with an A or a sound in this case. So the W gets inserted there. It can make it difficult to identify a word like a way that you already know if what you're hearing instead is wa way. Um, whether or not this happens does depend on the speaker and how fast they're talking and how informally they're talking. And if you don't understand these symbols that I'm using here to represent sounds, please see the link below the video to the interactive phonemic chart. So this intrusive wa is actually a natural transition for the lips. It usually happens when the first word ends with an oo sound like blue or an o sound like so. This is because the lip position at the end of these sounds is the same position for the beginning of the w sound. You can try it for yourself. Say the word blue and notice where your, your lips end at the end of it. Try it also with the word so. They should be sort of in that puckered lips position, which is the beginning of the w sound. This intrusive w can also happen inside words. Here we have the boa snake, and the w sound gets inserted in between the o and the a. We say boa. But since our focus is on connected speech, we're only going to be looking at where this happens when the end of one word meets the beginning of another word. Here are a few more examples. Who are you? 
Who are you? Number two. No, it's not. No, it's not. Number three. Hello and welcome. Hello and welcome. To help you hear the intrusive w, I'm going to say 10 phrases. Please write what I say. If you need to, pause the video and number a paper or document 1 through 10. So again, listen and write or type what you hear. Each line number here on the screen will tell you the number of words in that phrase or sentence. Here we go. Number one, go inside. Go inside. Go inside. Number two, two adults. Two adults. Two adults. Number three. Go on. Go on. Go on. Number four. Do it now. Do it now. Do it now. Number five. And so on. And so on. And so on. Number six. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Number seven. You are correct. You are correct. You are correct. Number eight, can you explain? Can you explain? Can you explain? Number nine, we go out every Friday. We go out every Friday. We go out every Friday. Number 10. She also owns a restaurant. She also owns a restaurant. She also owns a restaurant. So again, if you're watching with someone else or with your teacher and classmates, pause the video and compare your answers. Go back and replay parts of the dictation if you need to. Here are the answers. Pause the video if you need to while you check them.
Sometimes, pronouncing a feature of connected speech can help you hear it when other people use it. So please listen and repeat. Try to insert the w sound there, or at least notice yourself saying it. Here we go. Number one, go inside. Go inside. Number two, two adults. Two adults. Number three, go on. Go on. Number four, do it now. Do it now. Number five, and so on. And so on. Number six, who is it? Who is it? Number seven, you are correct. You are correct. Number eight, can you explain? Can you explain? Number nine, we go out every Friday. We go out every Friday. Number 10, she also owns a restaurant. She also owns a restaurant. To review, sometimes a w sound is inserted between two vowel sounds at a word boundary. This usually happens when the first word ends with an oo sound like new or o sound like no. A final example is who am I? Who am I? Now it's your turn. Think of another example of an intrusive w sound at the boundary of two words and write it in the comments or pause the video and share it with your teacher and classmates. And now for the real world challenge. Find an example of an intrusive w sound at the boundary of two words in a recorded or real life conversation and post it in the comments or share it with your teacher and classmates. Thank you for watching this English micro listening lesson. I hope it has helped you to better hear how sounds change or disappear in spoken English. Bye.